Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Eustace Farmer and I'm just driving down the road here with my convoy of AI friends and we are preparing for an extensive how-to and review of the Enhanced Chicken Pack. The manufacturer is Tech Farm and the authors are GTX and Erebus of the LS Mod Company. It's a 35.24 megabyte file size download. It's version 1. It was released on February 28th of 2018 and this is for the PC and Mac platforms only. This is available through your in-game Mod Hub menu and on the Giants website. The link will be down in the description. So we're going to get to it in just a moment after we have a message from our handsome yet congenial sponsor. Alright, so why do I think this mod is so great? The first reason is because it restores a functionality that was lost in Farming Simulator 17 that we had in previous versions of Farming Simulator. You can do more than just pick up eggs out of the grass and watch the chickens pick about their daily lives. So during my testing, I did find a couple little picky -oon things that kind of motivated me to make this video because it took me a little while to kind of figure this out. And it has to do with the straw bales. Of course, in Farming Simulator, when there's shenanigans, 7 out of 10 times, it's the bales. <laughs> but aside from that, this mod has no errors whatsoever. It runs perfectly. I just think the um, straw triggers need a little bit of tweaking, and that's pretty much about it. But I'm going to show you what I mean, because we're going to put one version of the uh, the chicken coop down on this map, and then I have another save, and we will go in and do the other version as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the shop. Starting at the top, from the left to the right, those five items are in the placeable section of your mod menu. The four trailers on the bottom are in the animals section of your mod menu. Now again, going back to the top from left to right, the open chicken pen, that's $10,000. That one is designed to straddle an existing chicken coop that's already been laid out in your map. Um, so the feeding troughs will go within the pen and the triggers will stick out beyond the fence line so you can get to them and feed water and straw your chickens. The second one, the fenced chicken pen, that's $14,000. That's designed to be placed anywhere on the map you want. If you don't have enough room to straddle the fence in your chicken coop or whatever the case may be, you can plunk that down someplace else and you'll be able to enjoy the functionality of this mod. However, when you're in the standard egg laying mode, you'll have to go back to the original chicken location to pick up your eggs. And that holds true when you're uh, picking up the chickens for breeding as well. So if you're gonna go sell them, they're gonna appear back in the pen. And I'm gonna show you how all this works anyway. Now to load and unload your chickens, you have the chicken farm delivery sign. That doesn't cost you anything, zero dollars. Plunk that down uh, anywhere you want, really, but if you want to put it near the pen, then you'll be able to load and unload your chickens that way. You can also buy and sell them and have them delivered or picked up uh, through that sign when you're on foot. When you're in a trailer, it's gonna come up with load and unload. All right, so the last two on the right, the chicken dealer and the chicken dealer trigger option. Those are both, again, zero dollars and they both perform identically. It's just up to you uh, which one you would want. If you want to have a standalone building, you can put that down someplace. If you wanted to, say, take the trigger and put it down at the animal market that's already uh, part of your map, then you can have that trigger down there as well or wherever you want it. So you can just buy and sell with those particular items. You can't load and unload. All right, so the four trailers on the bottom, the two on the left, are the standard editions and then you have the two on the right which are special black editions. Between all four trailers there's no difference in functionality. The, both the Joskins and both the semi versions function the same exact way, same capacity and same price and everything. So the two Joskins are 24,000, the two semi versions are 67,000. When you go to download the placeable portion of the pack these will automatically download with them as well. 
You will need these trailers because they are specially scripted to carry the chickens. So without these trailers, you won't be able to move your chickens on the road. You can still buy and sell, you know, for a fee remotely, but if you want to move the chickens, you need these trailers. And these trailers also pick up all the other standard animals as well. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and buy us a bunch of chickens. I'm going to get a thousand. That way we have enough room to do what we got to do. And there's another reason, and I'll tell you as we go through the video. But one thing you may notice or not have noticed is I'm running Seasons mod. And chickens are not written into Seasons mod. So the chickens' breeding cycles are not affected, nor is their um, sale prices or their egg laying and sale prices. So now we just walk up to this area where the triggers are and you're gonna press M as in Mary on your keyboard and this little menu will come up and you're gonna see a list of options in how to handle your chicken. You can lay eggs standard, which means that they're just gonna appear in the grass. You pick them up like an Easter egg hunt. Chicken breeding mode, where you will make chickens from the eggs and not food. <laughs> and then lay eggs in basket. That means that the eggs will be auto-collected and put in that little wash tub inside the chicken coop. Now we're gonna be using um, breed chickens for this particular portion, but up here you can see it tells you wheat, barley, or corn is what you can feed them. Water, the straw is only for breeding. So if you're not breeding, you don't need to put straw. And then it gives you the overall health of the chickens and how many eggs are in the coop, which is on the ground or in the basket. And it tells you how many chickens you own. And then where it says next chicken in, it gives you a time frame. I find that this time frame doesn't match up with the in-game clock. Um, when I speed up time, you know, sometimes I'll have a chicken in 15 minutes, but this will say an hour. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm reading it wrong, but that's how this works. Now, there's also a thing where it, it says that you will be levied a fee for each egg that is collected by the quote-unquote neighbor children. I picked up uh, an egg off the ground, and I sold it, and then I took five eggs out of the coop and I sold them separately and I got the same price. As a matter of fact, I got a dollar more <laughs> for the eggs out of the coop, so there was no fee levied. All right, so I made a small bale with the welder and a large bale the traditional way. And I'll show you, it does hand feed and I'm putting it up, there it goes. It takes it in the center trigger, but I was a little off. But it seems to want all or nothing. And that's pretty much why I bought a thousand chickens because it would give me enough room to show you how this works. If you have just a few little chickens, it may not take the bale at all because it wants the entire 4,000 units, but the chickens don't need the 4,000. Now, I've been able to top it off with the uh, straw blower, but again, that can be a little persnickety to catch the trigger the right way. Sometimes it'll blow it in, other times it'll just snatch the bale right out of the machine without blowing it. It all depends on how much they need. So you can load your straw in with a shovel, but you're not going to see a trigger because it's the shovel. And you can do your straw on a trailer as well. This does not accept pellets from the Straw Harvest DLC. Straw blowers and bale trailers, in-game and modded, not a problem with a little work. Barley, wheat, or corn for the feed, and don't forget to give them a drink of water. If you walk up to the chicken sign on foot, you'll be able to buy and sell your chickens just like you would with any other animal loading zone. But if you pull up in any one of the trailers in the pack, then you're going to get the load or unload symbol. So the chicken dealer, which you see in the frame on the left, and the chicken dealer trigger option, which you see over on the right, they function identically. Just like the animal market in-game, only they deal specifically with the chickens. So you'd be able to buy and sell your chickens from either one of those points. It's just your personal preference which one you would like to put down. So you can open and close the doors on these awesome modded chicken trailers. And you can even go inside and walk around if you're curious. <laughs> the vents on the side will open along with the roof raising up automatically when you load in the animals. When you walk around the back of the truck with the doors closed, you're going to encounter a little black plate with a bunch of white gibberish on it. Well, it's not broken. When you enter the menu in there via your F1 menu on your screen, you can customize yourself a license plate. And then when you're all done, you just hit the green check mark and voila, it'll come out just like you see in my photo on the bottom portion of the screen. So the truck or lorry version of these trailers holds 42 pigs, 28 cattle, 48 sheep, and 180 chickens. And right below that, I added in a nice little flattering photo of the cows inside the trailer for you. <laughs> 
Like the standard Jaskin in-game, you can lower it down, color the roof, and the rims as well. And this little cream puff holds 9 pigs, 6 cattle, 10 sheep, and 50 chickens. This has been Used as Farmer, and I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and tap that alert bell right next to the sub button so we can stay in touch. Another great way to stay in touch is chat with me down in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you, so don't be shy. But do be constructive when offering opinions and feedback. Also, there's a thumbs up button right under your screen. Please tap that so I know you enjoyed the video and possibly like to see more. If you didn't like the video or me personally, well, there's another button with a thumb pointing down. Feel free to tap that one if you're a big poop head, but be aware it's wired to a trapdoor under your feet, and if you push it, you will plummet to your demise into a pool of man-eating crocodiles. I'm just saying. So for all you thumbs up friends out there, until we meet again, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now.